the climate crisis is such a lived experience that the children here actually think it's normal. So that's the challenge. Great. So hi everyone, as Ellie said, I'm Hazel Najinda, founder of Climate Operation, and basically what we do here is uh, ensure that climate education is very accessible, relatable, and fun for young people. So since we are focusing on SDG 4.7, my provocation is obviously about education, education and educators. So as you can see from this picture here, that is Lona. Lona is a uh, school principal at a school here in Uganda. And uh, we had a session with the school before schools were closed in Uganda where it was kind of an art session whereby the children were drawing pictures about animals in the sea and basically how plastic pollution is affecting that. So I was chatting with Lona uh, just three days back and I was telling her, okay, so COP has ended and with the rise of uh, without changes and everything. What challenges as an educator are you going to face educating your students, young people about the climate crisis? And something she told me really shocked me. And she was like, for me, for my students, the climate crisis is such a lived experience that the children here actually think it's normal. So that's a challenge. We're educating them to ensure that for one, they actually understand that what we are going through is not normal, but at the same time, educating them in a way that inspires them to actually start joining spaces for climate action. So my provocation is more of a question because I reckon there are very many educators in this, in this space. How are we going to educate young people and what challenges are actually going to face after COP26? How are we going to actually educate this young, these young people about the climate crisis? But not just educating them about the climate crisis, but making it very intersectional, making, making uh, ensuring that we're not just talking about like, for example, climate change as a one size fits all, but then intersecting with, with so many other social issues such as health, gender, human rights. So how best are we going to educate them, make it very intersectional, and what are some of those challenges that as educators that we're actually going to face while educating these young people, and also ensuring that after educating these young people, they as well can take agency and educate their peers as well. So that is my provocation from the chat I had with Lona, how best to educate young people, and what challenges as educators are we going to face after COP26, and of course, with the recent rise of climatic situations all over the world. Thank you.